Hey, what up? Yeah, man. So, 65 days of water fasting completed. Man, refeeding completed. Man, new fast underway. Man, yeah, that's how the fasting gauntlet works, yo. I just um, I just go with the flow. I listen to my body as much as possible. And when I finally feel broken down, as far as my body goes, my mind will finally send a signal that says, hey, let's go ahead and eat now. I eat, you know. Uh, my refeeding generally has two parts. There's the breaking of the fast, and then there's the, um, the guilty indulgence, as I like to call it, where I eat some naughty things, you know. But I feel like it works. I have to do it because I'm a human being, right? I'm not a robot. And I mean, yo, I just I just didn't eat for a certain number of days. So obviously there's gonna be some cravings. And had I been eating during those days, there would have been some cravings, right? And I would have ate those certain those certain things. So it happens. Yesterday I broke my fast. I recorded it. You saw what I ate. I had the rest of that, right? I had a second can of tuna another avocado, the rest of the nuts, all right? Later that night, after my stomach, um, I, don't, I don't know if I want to say it cleared, but after I was no longer had that full filling or whatever, I I, um, I went out, I bought some groceries, okay? I bought um, rice cauliflower, I bought collard greens, and I already had the bell pepper, the onion, cilantro i cooked me a nice little meal oh and i bought drumsticks chicken drumsticks four i really actually wanted um chicken breasts and i saw it skinless chicken breasts but i didn't like the price man the price was it was organic i went to an organic grocery store so i wasn't feeling the price i felt like i could have just went and got some chips some cheap chicken breast and just you know ate it with the rice cauliflower and the sauteed veggies. But I said, you know what? I haven't eaten in 65 days. It's okay. So anyways, yeah, I ended up making the chicken breast. I'm sorry, I ended up making the drumsticks, okay? And I roasted some veggies underneath it. I still went ahead and sauteed some veggies and then I also steamed some veggies. So I have veggies three ways. Um, the steamed veggies, they didn't come out too well. It was almost like it was just warm, raw veggies. I know why that happened. It's because I just couldn't wait to eat and I really didn't even want the steamed veggies. You know, the only reason I even steamed some of my veggies was that I was, um, you know, steaming my collard greens. But anyways, the food came out good. I enjoyed the mess out of it. And then I decided, you know, before I begin my next fast, I need to have one guilty indulgence, okay? Just one. And what I decided to have was ice cream <laughs> and cookies. Cookies and ice cream. That's what I decided to have. And I'm so happy that I tried it because my taste buds rejected it, okay? My body rejected it. I ate a little bit of each and I trashed it like... I just wasn't having it. My body didn't like it. My tongue didn't like it. And I learned something, man. I learned something that I've always known, though, is that most sugary treats, I don't really like. I kind of force myself to have them until I like them. And then once I start to like them, I get addicted to them. But I don't know why I force it. It's possible I could have got ice cream that I liked. It's possible I could have got cookies that I liked. But I didn't. And then that's okay. And I can say that I'm happy that I broke it. I broke that addiction. Like, I won't be thinking about ice cream anymore. I won't be thinking about cookies anymore until I have a good one. But I don't, but basically what I'm saying is next time I break a fast or whatever, I, I, that won't be my guilty indulgence, you know? <sighs> but yeah, that's just a short little story. But anyways, so yeah, I began my next fast. Um, with the gauntlet, I really don't 
know when I'm going to, how long I'm going to refeed and when I'm going to start my next fast. I just go with the flow. Part of the reason why I think I only needed like an 18 hour refeed window was that during the time I was about to break my fast, it was more about the craving of the food than me actually being hungry. The only thing that really made me hungry was me going to the gym. <clears throat> but I had actually recovered from all that shit I was going through, you know? So, yeah, it's whatever. But yeah, fasting for me works during this season of my life. Um, as I always like to say, I don't do this fasting stuff to be braggadocious or to say, hey, look at me, I'm doing stuff that you can't do or anything like that, you know? It's just something that works for me, you know? It's just something that's working for me that I enjoy. It's very simple for me to do. I don't have to measure, calculate, or do any of that stuff. And um, I truly believe that if you have an excess amount of body fat, if you're like morbidly obese, all those things that fasting is something that can help you lose weight and help you learn in the process of that weight loss. I do not believe that fasting though this type of fasting, mind you, right? Total water fasting. I don't believe that it helps you to learn how to manage weight loss or anything like that. It's just a way to lose weight, you know? And and um, losing weight, keeping it off, all that sort of stuff. Obesity in general, managing obesity. There's a whole science and formula to it that I do not yet know, but I'm studying, I'm learning as I go. <sighs> Um, another reason why I decided to do a short refeed was that I didn't want to regain weight. You know, I'm at a point where I'm ready to get this weight off me, you know, and I'm ready to, to go into maintenance and start to regain weight in my maintenance period, not during my weight loss period anymore. Right. Um, maintenance will be a whole long process. Even I've been thinking about extending my, you know, I used to say this is an 1100 day journey. I've been even thinking about extending my journey to 1500 days, you know, whatever, because maintenance, that, that, that will be a very challenging time for me. Because again, the question, you know, my new thesis, right? If an alcoholic can't just have one drink, me as a food addict, can I just have one ice cream bar or one candy bar or one whatever i'm addicted to at that current time right so maintenance will be very challenging um i don't really know if i'm gonna record it but i, I feel like i have to because you know can't just record the the uh the happy parts right and um it, it'll be a very interesting challenging difficult part of the journey but it's one that i'm ready to embrace and I think that looking in the mirror, building my physique will help fuel me to be successful in maintenance. If I like the way I look, if I like what I'm building, if I like who I'm becoming, I'm more inclined to keep up the work. Yeah. In other news, I went to the gym this morning, had a nice workout. I had one of them workouts where I can't pick up anything anymore. You know, I left it to failure. And my window of failure was very short, very small. Don't know why, especially after I ate yesterday, but oh yeah. Also, I'm still full from yesterday. I mean, I'm full to the point I have a stomach ache, but I'm not full to the point that I really, really overate. You know, I overate in the sense that I just broke my fast overate, but I didn't eat. I guess I did over you. I keep forgetting that I'm 230 pounds. Yeah, so I guess I did over you. Um, especially for someone coming out of a fast. But one of the reasons I did it is because I knew that I was about to go into another fast. So in, th in another two days, my stomach would clear up. During my last fast, 4 p.m. was the start of a new day, fasting-wise. This time my fast begins at 12 a.m. So every 12 a.m. is a new day. I think this fast would be about two weeks to three weeks long. I go on call in about two weeks time. It's your boy, the American African. Like, comment, subscribe.